Hello, I'm Tony Botting at Go Engineer. I'm a simulation specialist. Hello, in this video we'll introduce the rudder balancing software. You want to balance the flow rates of plastic into all the component cavities such that they all fill at the same time, and thus will cool and shrink at the same rate. SOLIDWORKS Plastics has built-in runner balancing software that will adjust the sizes of the runners automatically. Here's an example showing six identical components. Obviously the volume of each component is the same, but the path lengths from the main gate to each are different, so you get different fill times, different packing times, and different cooling times. Here is a plot of the pressure distribution at the end of fill. You can see the pressure in the middle two components is higher than the outer components. This is because the injected plastic fills the middle two components first, and they have more packing time. Here are some ways to solve the problem. One way is to design a mold for eight cavities instead of six, and set up a runner system like this. Each leg to a component cavity is equal in length. You can do this for component quantities as powers of two, such as two, two squared, two cubed, and so on. However, if you're forced to stay with a particular mold layout, you can use the software's automatic runner balancing program. It will adjust the runner sizes automatically, and will show this momentarily. Another case is when you have multiple component cavities in one mold, but they have different volumes. Here's a two-part assembly with different upper and lower halves. This animation shows how they fit together nicely when assembled. In the plastics injection process, if they fill, pack, and cool at the same rates, they will shrink at the same rates too, and result in a good fit. As you can see here, the parts may not fit together if there is uneven shrinkage. We'll work on these different parts for the demonstration, and you can see they are of different sizes. And here's the filling time after an analysis. You can see the part on the left side fills first. So you can use the runner balancing software. Let's look at the runner sizes before we do this. We have runner diameters at 6 millimeters tapering down to 1 millimeter. So we'll run the runner balancing software. Locate the runner balancing item in the tree, right click and choose open settings. You can post the current runner sizes and we'll do this after the balancing. We'll set the maximum iterations to 10, the maximum diameter to 10 millimeters, the minimum diameter to 2 millimeters, the maximum inlet diameter also to 2 millimeters, and the minimum inlet diameter to 1 millimeter. Then just click the start button and you'll see this message. Select yes and let it go. This can take some time on complex systems. When it's completed, you'll see this message displaying the fill time and pressure values both before and after the balancing software has run. Now I'll click on the thickness distribution item so we can see the runner sizes. Let's look at the fill time and pressure plots. The fill time looks much better. and the pressure distribution looks nearly the same in each cavity. In this video, we showed the runner balancing function for SOLIDWORKS Plastics.